how are detergents and soaps clean clothes. Let's first look at the preparation of soap. There are two methods used to prepare the soap in the industry, the cattle process and the continuous process. The difference between both processes is that the fats and the alkali are melted together in the cattle process, where in the continuous process, the natural fat is split first into fatty acids and the glycerin before the fatty acids are mixed with the alkali. In the cattle process, the triglycerides, which are the fats and oils, usually blend of tallow, which is the kettle solid fat, melted with coconut oils and steamed. This mixture is heated with sodium hydroxide to promote the hydrolysis of ester groups in the triglycerides, where sodium salts of the acetates and the glycerin are formed. This process is called saponification. Here is a simplification for the reaction that happens inside the cattle. The triglyceride reaction with sodium hydroxide gives glycerin and sodium acetate salt. To separate the glycerin from the soap, which is the sodium acetate salt, the mixture is heated with sodium chloride salt, where the soap floats as a thick root to the top and the glycerin to the bottom. The recovered glycerin from the bottom of the cattle is used in many industries, such as hand lotion, drugs, and nitroglycerin, which is a main component of explosives. Back to the separated soap, which undergoes a process called pitching, where the soap is heated with water, causing the soap to separate into two layers, neat soap at the top and nigger soap, which contains impurities at the bottom. The neat soap is taken off at the top and purified several times. The last step is casting the soap into molds and allows it to harden into large slabs that are cut into smaller bars. What about washing powder or liquid used in washing machines? Although we refer to the washing powder used in washing machines as soap, it is actually a mixture of several components and soap is one of it. The washing powder can be manufactured using three processes. The most common used is the blender process. The first step in the blender process is to mix washing powder components together. The major components are builders. They are used to enhance the efficiency of surfactants, prevent precipitations by reaction with minerals and enhance the formation of micelles which are tiny globules. The most common used builder is sodium silicate. Another type of builder is the alkaline builder that is combined with the surfactants to neutralize the acids and make the detergent suitable for stain removals. Many types of alkaline bases are mixed together, such as sodium hydroxide, caustic soda, or potassium hydroxide, caustic potash was STPP, sodium triopolyphosphate. Second, surfactants. Surfactants are used to promote the washing ability of the alkalines we mentioned earlier. They have the ability to break down longer fat chains into, into smaller washable particles and encapsulating them in the core of the micelles. The most common used surfactants are sodium lyrylyl ether sulfate, and alpha olefin sulfonate. Third, enzymes. Enzymes are used to break soils and dirt into smaller particles that can be washed away. Two common enzymes used are lipases and proteases. These three major components are mixed with the other ingredients such as pH modifiers, optical brighteners, and the other supporting ingredients to prevent the soil and dirt from settling back on the washed clothes. The liquid detergent is formed by mixing the blend powder with water and the solubilizers to keep the water and the detergent blended evenly. How are detergents and soap clean? If we look at the structure of the soap, it is formed of three zones. The non-polar tail, 
the R group, and the negative polar head, the acetate group, which is attached to a positive sodium ion. Once this structure comes in contact with water, it collapses into insoluble micelles, with a nonpolar tail in the inside layer and the polar head at the surface. These micelles are not soluble because of the nonpolar tail, rather suspended in water. The polar head forms with water hydrogen bonds, which allows the micelles to be suspended in the water. These micelles act as emulsifiers for the nonpolar dirt, grease, or fat stains. The soup tails bind to the grease and, with the help of the polar head, pull them away from the surface of the cloth and breaking them into smaller particles with the help of the motion of the washing machine. Eventually, New micelles are formed with the dirt or grease inside the micelles. The micelles, which are bonded to the cleaning water from the polar surface site, are washed away when draining the water from the washing machine.